one thing that we do have is like micronutrients. So, so we, we need a lot of these micronutrients, but I think like it's, it's difficult to um, measure uh, or expensive. And, you know, if you want to try and supplement for all of them, it, it would get probably expensive as well. So, you know, from a strategic level, what would be the best strategy for ensuring that you have the right micronutrients? Yeah, that's a great question. So a lot of people, they say, uh, I did a blood test and I checked for some vitamins and minerals and everything is okay. Uh, I would be very skeptical about blood tests. Uh, as a medical doctor, I know they have a lot of shortcomings and they are actually not very good to detect uh, deficiencies. Uh, so you can have normal magnesium levels, vitamin A or E levels, and still be deficient, uh, uh, very deficient actually. So, um, so in that case, be always be uh, always be skeptical about your blood tests uh, because they are not good in, in measuring. Uh, exact levels of vitamins and minerals and so on, and mainly because or one reason is that they look at, at levels in, in the in the bloodstream, uh, in the serum or even in their uh, in the red blood cells. But that's not ideal. Uh, you want to know how much of these vitamins and minerals are there actually in, in all the cells, in other compartments in the body and so on. And the bloodstream is not an ideal measurement of that. Um, so you can be uh, very deficient or not take enough of these uh, important micronutrients and still have a normal blood test. Um, so what I would do, and that's actually what I do, is uh, of course I consume a healthy diet. I try to uh, eat very healthy. So I try uh, to enable to get all micronutrients or at least uh, quite a lot of them through my diet. Of course, the diet is the most important thing. But uh, a lot of people say, if I eat healthy, I don't need supplements. I think that's uh, not always the case and very likely often not the case for many reasons too. Uh, because actually, even if you eat healthy, it's very difficult to get all micronutrients you need. Why? Because our body is not made by nature to properly, uh, uh, properly absorb all micronutrients for a long, healthy life. Uh, actually, nature didn't care for us to live very long. And uh, nature just wanted to, us to reproduce as soon as possible or help with reproduction. Uh, and, and, and that's it. Uh, and if that's done, you can age and wither away and nature doesn't care about you. So that's why aging actually exists uh, because it's loss of selective, uh, uh, loss of pressure by selection after our reproductive age because nature doesn't care anymore about us. Uh, so the same also with supplementation. Actually, uh, our bodies are not made to probably absorb all micronutrients. Uh, uh, we have seen that through thousands of years of, of human history, like uh, iron deficiency has been a problem for many thousands of years uh, because uh, we as humans are actually very bad in absorbing iron compared to other species. Uh, and uh, the same for iodine. Iodine deficiency has been a problem for thousands and thousands of years uh, because we are also not very good at absorbing this. Uh, and uh, same for vitamin C. So we humans uh, are one of the very little uh, uh, species that cannot make vitamin C themselves. Um, so most uh, other uh, mammals can make vitamin C, but we need to get it through our food. So uh, anyway, there are a lot of things that are not optimal in our body for uh, absorbing all micronutrients. So that's why I think supplementation is necessary for the rest of our lives. Uh, also, we, we, the food today contains less micronutrients because of agricultural methods. We also are exposed to more stress uh, uh, and unhealthy food, which actually requires more micronutrients. We live indoors. Um, we, so we, eat, we drink alcohol, which requires more magnesium and B vitamins. Uh, and and uh, we, we, through natural, uh, so through artificial light, uh, we stay up for much longer, which also requires more micronutrients and so on. So um, these are a few reasons why I think supplementation is necessary. Um, and uh, uh, what I would do is to consume a healthy diet. And then on top of that, take uh, supplements and uh, make sure you always take the right form of, uh, of supplements because magnesium um, most magnesium you can buy as a supplement in the store or at the pharmacy is magnesium oxide, but I, ideally it would be magnesium malate uh, because malate also extends lifespan uh, and it's better absorbed and so on. Um, and malate also, also has a lot of interesting uh, health benefits. Um, same for selenium. 
Uh, so ideally selenium yeast, not selenium methionine, uh, as you can find in most supplements, because selenium yeast contains different forms of selenium, uh, which uh, can have better absorption and activity and stability in the body um, and so on. And also the problem uh, about supplements is that they often contain synthetic variants of vitamins, eh, like vitamin E in a supplement is mostly alpha tocopherol succinate, which is actually more a pro-oxidant. Uh, 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 so it's a synthetic form, a pro-oxidative form of vitamin E, uh, and it's not ideal. And uh, also in nature, we find eight different forms of vitamin E, uh, alpha tocopherol, gamma tocopherol, uh, tocotrienol, and so on. Uh, so if you take vitamin, through, uh, vitamin E through a supplement, uh, you just take one form and you actually could inhibit the uh, absorption through your food of the seven other forms, which is not good. And, uh, and secondly, the one form you do take is often a synthetic form uh, that sometimes, if it's the succinate, succinate form, can have pro-oxidant activity. So uh, anyway, so there are a lot of shortcomings with supplements. So actually, I'm very skeptical about supplements, but I do believe we need them uh, because otherwise it's almost impossible to get enough the, of them through a healthy diet. And actually... I often see patients that, especially the ones that eat healthy, they are even often more at risk of deficiencies because they eat less red meat, which is great, but th that means they are more uh, at risk of iron deficiency, carnitine deficiency, carnosine deficiency, uh, and, and uh, zinc and, 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 and B vitamins in, in general, or vitamin B12 because they eat less animal foods. Um, so yeah, it's very complicated. So that's why I think uh, a longevity diet combined with supplementation, uh, with smart supplementation, uh, is, is the best way to, to go forward.